Okay, we're taking apart an iMac 2011, uh, mid-2011, 21 inch. And it's got a bad hard drive. So we got these special plungers and took off the front protector panel. And uh, I think it's a T8, T6 or a T8. And took out all the, all the screws. Uh, sorry, this is probably hard to understand. There's uh, screws on each side, four on each side. And then more over here. Anyway, I took them all out, and now I'm going to pull out the screen. And I just want to document a little. There's some wires here that we have to un you pull the, this forward and unconnect these wires. And I'll be back. I'll try to explain this the best I can. Sorry for the rough explanation. I'm doing this on a whim. But uh, might as well document. Okay, I've unconnected those four cables that were hooked to the screen, and I should mention uh, there is a hardware maintenance uh, hardware maintenance manual you can get for this. I'll try to f provide the link below. I couldn't actually find it easily, but I did find it before. However, the reason I'm just going ahead and doing this is I used to do this for a living, so I have done this a million times with this model. Well, not literally a million, but many times. So I know what I'm doing um, for the most part. But if you're looking at this video because you want to do this for like the first time, go look at that manual. It has step-by-step -step instructions of what you will need. Um, or right, let's see. It has a list of all the tools you will need, so you can go purchase them. I have this multi-kit that helps. Uh, but you can get official tools too. And also, it has step-by-step -step instructions of how to take this apart. So I am not following those, obviously, since I don't have it, but I kind of know what to do anyway. But yes, you'll need suction cups. You'll need these special screw drivers. I think a T6 and a T8. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get to the hard drive. That's my goal here. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, I removed that screen. As you can see, the hard drive is right here. It looks like it's just some screws. Um, uh, what are they? They look like T8s, maybe. There's four up there. I'm not even sure if you have to do all of them. I think you only have to do these four to get to get this bracket, and then I think it comes out kind of like the screen did, tilting forward. But there's many other parts in here. This here is the power supply. This here is, uh, what is this? I don't actually know. I'd have to look. Um, here's the CD drive. Here's a heat sink. And down here you can see there's another heat sink. This is probably where the CPU is, well, on the reverse side of the board. And here's probably where the GPU is on the reverse side of this. And this is just some sort of interface board. Uh, let's see, what does it go to? It gets power. Oh, and there's the Bluetooth module, the wireless module, of course, fans, speakers. Uh, any other questions? Just let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and finish taking this drive out, replace it with a new one, put everything back together. I think this video is long enough. Um, but it's not too bad to get to the hard drive on this model. You really just need those suction cups uh, to get that initial screen off and a T6 and a T8 for these screws. All right. Well, thank you for watching my video here on Code Tech Tutorials. And my name is Matt. Please like and subscribe if this helped you or if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one.